Welcome to the AR Slimmer and Healthier Kitchen. Now today I'm going to be cooking a variety of things, but I am going to be using my Salad Master cookware. Salad Master is a cooking system that allows you to keep your nutrients intact in your fruits and vegetables or anything that you cook. Um, it, I'm, I'll explain as we go along how it works. Right in front of me here is the beautiful Salad Master food processor. It's a manual food processor or cutter that can cut up in up to 200 different ways. And this is given away absolutely free. It comes with two cones and they are free that need to be purchased at 10 pounds each. But otherwise, the machine itself, not the bowl, and the two cones are given away absolutely free. And one could be more. To start us off, I am going to make some spiralized courgette. Now what that does is instead of using spaghetti or pasta, I can use courgette, I can spiralize courgette and make the equivalent of a pasta dish. So I'm going to be making some courgette spaghetti um, to go with some my courgette and I removed the guard from my food processor and now I am going to spiralize my courgette. I put the courgette at a 180 degree angle to the blade and I hope you can see spiralized vegetables. Now the thing is, the blades are sharp on the outside, so you need to be careful not to put your fingers in there. What I was doing was just keeping my hands as close as possible, but away from the blade. Now, this, and I'm using the tip of the courgette, allows me to continue spiralizing the bit that I had there. Have you ever bought spiralized um, vegetables in the supermarket? It can cost so much. You can imagine that very easily you can make your own. I'll do one more and I'll start it cooking and begin to see the unique way that the Salad Master cooking system works. Spiralized courgette. So there we have it. Spiralized courgette. Okay. Now to cook this, I am going to use this piece of cookware. It's the nine-inch Salad Master skillet. Okay. Now I will make a pasta dish equivalent of a pasta dish without pasta using my courgette. Courgette is fantastic in that it's got lots of vitamins and minerals and of course it's got water. Um, so it's really good for the skin and you know nutrient rich. I put my courgette in there cold and I put my lid on. Now I'll just give you a little secret about salad master cooking cookware. Okay.
okay so the salad master cookware allows you to cook things like your vegetables at an optimal temperature of 85 to 86 degrees and for those of you who know 85 to 86 degrees is the temperature of pasteurization what sorts of things are pasteurized milk fruit juice things like that where you keep the enzymes you keep your vitamins and your minerals and yet you would have got rid of all the germs so what you're going to see now is my courgette cooked at pasteurization temperature and how will i know that well all salad master lids have a built-in system here there's a temperature valve and when that begins to rattle like that it tells me that the temperature within the cookware is now at 86 degrees and I can maintain that temperature by turning my heat on absolutely low. We get to that temperature by using a medium heat. We never use a high heat for vegetables. Another unique feature, I put my lid on and if you notice there is no light so what does that do for my vitamins and minerals? It stops them being light oxidized. And guess what? When I turn my heat down, when I hear that rattling, I'm going to make a semi-seed vacuum. And that will stop the air oxidation also. So, now, basically with Salad Master, you select pieces based on the volume of food that you wish to cook. Each piece does what the other can do. They do what each, you know, each piece can do. So, I have here what we call our church pan. Now, it's made of three pieces. It's got a colander, what we call our three quart piece of cookware, and the lid, which fits both onto the main solid piece as well as onto the colander. I'm going to use this in a little while to show you how I'm going to fat some beef but for the moment I am going to use it without the colander part simply to cook down my sauce. Now at every juncture, I think I think that's a good size for this. At every juncture, I would say that if you want to know more, email ar slimmer and healthier at gmail.com. And an appointment will be made for us to come and demonstrate Salad Master to you. Today the focus is on making ketogenic food so I want to lose some weight and I am combining that goal with maximizing my nutrition to the use of salad master so everything you see me do today will be as much as possible low carbohydrates and of course I can have protein if I so wish and I do wish so I will be cooking various proteins today so you saw me Put my combination in there have a look at that isn't that lovely and red okay notice the color I'm gonna put that on the burner here's another one of the cones this is a greater cone um, and you're gonna see it gives, you, it gives you the typical shred that you get on a regular grater there's the piece of cheese I want to add to mine so I can put it in the well but I'm just gonna hold it to the surface and you see how easy that is to process my cheese. With this sort of thing, who needs to buy um, pre-grated cheese? It's so easy to do. The thing about pre-grated cheese is that sometimes they've got to put stuff in there to keep it separate, to keep the grain separate yeah so this way I've got my block of cheese 
and I know what I'm getting. No additives. Nothing anyway that wasn't already on the cheese or in the cheese block. Yeah, I bought a large block of cheese and I'm chopping, to eat, I'm taking the pieces from the block of cheese. And there's my grated cheese. Ready for. I am ready to layer up my, or at least work with my project. So this is my pasta um, replacement spiralized courgette and the my own equivalent of my passata but of course it's got it's seasoned to taste um, but my tomato thick tomato sauce pasta with a bit of tomato sauce on it and I'm just going to put a layer of cheese on that and that will be practically ready And you know, for those who are vegetarian, I can't say vegan because the cheese isn't vegan, but if you got vegan cheese, this would be a lovely meal too. For those who are vegetarian and happy to eat cheese, that's a meal almost ready. Right, at this point, I'll cover that. We can put it on again. And this time we're putting it on, say, um, two. 